Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Slit Mouthed, a game that's based on a famous Japanese urban legend called the Slit Mouthed Woman. If you want to find out a little bit more about the game, including where you can get it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. I really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, but let's start the game, shall we? Okay, so Koda Kazuki, a famous author in Japan, was found dead in the basement of his mansion. People close to him stated that he was going crazy and that he was getting obsessed with Japanese urban legends. He studied them to seek inspiration for a new book, but he couldn't stop reading and learning more about these myths. He was losing his mind. He said multiple times that she will get him. Apparently, the famous author was found dead and his mouth was slit open from one ear to another. With all the crazy notes around his home, the police labelled the case as suicide. A lot of people thought it was the demon, Kuchisaka Ona, who killed Koda Kazuki. The uncanny similarities with the urban legend did not go unnoticed. Strangely enough, that mansion is now considered a piece of art, since it shows what was going through the head of a great author once he went mad. It's full of unfinished books and creepy notes. Some say that there are secret rooms in the mansion. Ooh. His family decided to auction the mansion. Until that day arrives, it will be protected by a private security company to ensure that no fan is going to intrude and potentially steal some of Koda Kazuki's work. And I think this is where I come in. Okay, so my boss says, Akio, it's your turn to work the Kazuki Mansion tonight. And I say, what? Come on, boss. You know that I'm a bit superstitious. Don't make me work at that place. Akio, stop acting like a child. You won't be alone there anyways. It's a double shift. Seiji's working the night shift with you. Are you sure that you don't want me anywhere else tonight? Akio, we're getting paid a lot of money to sit in a big mansion every night. Stop complaining and do your job. Oh, and make sure you don't touch anything. We're instructed to keep the place as it is until it gets sold. Apparently the messy house of a nut job is considered art these days. Okay, I'm on my way. Alright, so I'm looking after the mansion along with my colleague Seiji. Ah. Okay, how do I do that? Oh. It looks like I'm heading in. And I don't have a say in this. <laughs> I guess I can't turn around and go home. Alright. Yeah, pretty fancy looking place. Alright, so, let's see. Uh, where do I get started? Oh. Okay, so he's in the basement going through his own task list. Alright. I hope we'll have a quiet night, he says. Oh boy. Right, so yeah, I need to see this checklist. Hmm. Well, I know my boss said not to touch anything, but I'll probably have a look at the notes as well. Hmm. Ah, daijoubだよ。妖怪とか幽霊とか、そんなものは実在しないから。he has a way of dealing with fear. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, like what? <laughs> he sings. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so there's my task list. So I need to check if the windows are locked. And I didn't get to read the second bit, to be honest. Um, Alright. So let's see. What can we do here? Oh, okay, so this is my inventory. And I've got the journal up here as well. Um, so, yeah, I need to check if every window's locked. There are five windows, apparently. I need to check if the chain that locks the roof door is still locked as well. And it looks like I've got the walkie-talkie and a flashlight. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. All right. So, there's absolutely no way of me going home. No. <laughs> well, I felt I had to try. Okay. Should we go this way? Okay. Uh, looks like we're going this way instead. I don't think I can open the drawers, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. I can barely see the prompt that says press C. It's so bright. Okay. Don't really need the flashlight in here, do we? Okay. Let's see. Well, that's got to be one of the windows, right? So how do I check it? There you go. 
チェック完了。Window checked, okay? Locked up tight, hopefully. Alright, so what we got down here? Any oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm already rifling through his things. Ah, I can't open it, never mind. At least some of his notes. Ah, hang on, I can have a look at this. There was this gorgeous woman. Every male in town wanted her. The tales of her beauty were told all around Japan. She was aware of it and she enjoyed the attention. She belonged to a warlord. A very jealous warlord. When he was out of town, she would approach other men, asking them one simple question. Hey, am I beautiful? The answer was always the same. Yes, you're gorgeous. One time, the warlord returned early. He witnessed his beautiful wife kissing another man. As punishment for her infidelity, her husband sliced the corners of her mouth from ear to ear. And that, I suppose, is the short version of the slit-mouthed woman that this game is based off of. Yeah, that's the slit-mouthed tale. All right. Anything else? Oh. Am I finished with the tasks? I've barely begun! He says he's almost done. You've looked at one window. <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh, all right. Um, looks like I might be able to play a record here, but I don't have one. So I guess I'll, I'll keep an eye out for one. I'll open that. Nah, no fun allowed. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be touching this stuff. What I should be doing is checking the windows. So, can't get through there. Hopefully there's no windows through there. Uh, what about this side? That way? Can we run at all? I think running might be kind of integral, but... <laughs> no, I don't think I can. Okay. Oh, this is the door to the basement. Seiji's there. Right, he's taking care of that area. I, uh, I take care of the upstairs, it looks like. So let's see. Through here? Okay. We've got sliding doors here by the looks of it. I think I see another window, too. Oh, another two. All right. Let's have a look, shall we? What about this one? All good? Yep, window checked. And that one in the corner? This window is okay, apparently. Awesome. So, two more to check, I suppose. Is there something down there? Oh, there is. I saw her again in my dreams, but it felt so real. Hmm. Dreams added to documents. Okay. That looks a bit strange. Okay. Uh, collect? Well, it's a collectible, so okay. Four more of those to find. Awesome. Alright, uh, I, I guess the other two windows are going to be upstairs somewhere, so let's head up the stairs, shall we? Yeah, big, big place. Let's see, let's go this way, shall we? Through here? Yeah, okay. There's another window. Hmm. Might be some notes down there, I might have a look in a moment. Okay, yeah, this one's okay too. Awesome. Alright. Um, I guess we're going to be checking this one last. Yeah, this is the fifth one. The window's checked, and it should all be locked up, right? Good stuff. Okay, so now what is it? I need to check if the chain that locks the roof door is still locked. Okay. What we got here? Oh, yep. Yeah. Don't touch it. Definitely shouldn't be touching it. But I'm touching it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. That looks a little bit suspicious to me. Can we pull this back? <laughs> There's definitely something back there. Didn't I read that there were secret rooms in the mansion? I think that might be one of them. Right. Okay. Uh, a few more places to go. I guess I don't really care about checking these windows. Through here? Okay, that's locked. Uh, two more doors to try. Let's try this one next. What's this? Is that a syringe? It's a syringe full of healthy stuff. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to collect that. Right. Um, I mean, I do have I do have a bar in the bottom right. I assume that's my health? Okay, through here. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, is it? Chain checked. Okay, well, what's the point? You could easily leap over that fence. Come on. 
Oh, that is the most pointless gate in the world. And only now it's telling me to equip my flashlight? Come on. Oh well, I guess we won't be going up to the roof. What's through here, though? Alright. <laughs> yeah, this is probably where I should uh, leave. Go on. Oh, hey there. How you doing? Are you going to show me a smile? Yeah, who are you? Yeah, I think I probably do. Shit, indeed. Oh. oh, she's wearing a mask. And she asks, tell me, am I pretty? Uh, yes, yes, you are. Maybe I should have said no. I don't know. Is that Seiji? Oh, I should have said no. Oh? Um, I think... I, I think I'm just in shock. Yeah, I, I just saw her. She asked me the question. Good thing we got flashlights, right? お前は分かってないんだ。俺はあの女を見たし、話したんだ。あれは口先女だ。口先女、that's We'll take care of her later. Oh, or she'll take care of us, one of them. Right, okay. Oh. Oh, so we can run. Amazing. Right, well, this is a window that I didn't check. I actually want to check that it's unlocked so I can escape. Okay. I don't know where she went. Oh, check it out. I got a disc, I got a record. Might be able to use that down in the office. But right, let's see. Sounds like we should maybe go down and meet Seiji, my colleague, down in the basement. As I do, I am going to check if I can leave or not. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Right, let's let's go back to the office though. Okay. Let's see. This? Ah, oh another collectible. Right. Wonderful. Three more to find. <laughs> Is this J-pop? God. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think I needed that, to be honest. That might be the scariest part of the game so far. Right. So, access to the basement was over there, wasn't it? Let's go take a look. I really don't know where she went. I don't really want to find out. Hopefully she's not down here in the basement. Oh, the door to the basement's locked, so I'm asking him to come and open it. Oh dear, radio silence. Mm, I don't think he can hear you. I need to find a way into the basement. Ah, uh, right. Well, I need to find myself a key, I suppose. Oh, oh boy. Alright. What have we got here, then? Uh, yeah. Maybe I should head this way? Can I maybe uncover these? No. They're all moving. Sort of blowing in the wind a little bit. Got a black one over here, a few reds, a few blues. I definitely can't leave. I definitely can't leave. Okay, alright. Why are they here? Can't go through there, can we? Yes, we can. Right, okay. So I just had to brave those to get to this. Which looks like it's a dead end. Is there nothing? Oh no, there is something here. There's a door. Oh, there's more. Oh, wonderful. Okay. What do we got here? There's a box there. Which, um... 
is locked by the looks of it, and I can't open it. I don't have the key for it. It's so dark, I can barely see it. Right, I think there was some note or something? Yeah. Okay, so a murder took place in a family's home. One family member was killed by another family member. It was a family of four. Father, mother, son, daughter. One family member witnessed the murder. Another family member helped the murderer. So we got some facts here. Uh, quite a few of them, actually, so this is going to be interesting. Um, the family member that witnessed the murder and the family member that helped the murderer are not the same gender. Number two. The oldest member of the family and the witness are not the same gender. Okay. Number three. The youngest member of the family and the victim are not the same gender. Number four. The family member that helped the murderer is older than the victim. Five. The father is the oldest family member. Okay. Six. The youngest family member is not the killer. So which family member was the murderer? So with all those clues, we should be able to figure this out. So bear with me a moment. Okay, so I think I've figured this out. I think it might be the mum that's the killer, and it might be the son that died. I think the helper might be the father, and the daughter might be the witness to the entire thing. So let's go through one to six and see if that makes sense. The family member that witnessed the murder and the family member that helped the murderer are not the same gender. So it's the daughter and it's the father. So that works. The oldest member of the family and the witness are not of the same gender. Again, that works because the oldest member is the father. So yeah, that proves that the witness is either the mother or the daughter. Uh, the youngest member of the family and the victim are not the same gender. Okay, so the victim is the son. The youngest member, I, I guess, would be the, the daughter. Um, the family member that helped the murderer is older than the victim. Right, the father being the older one, uh, and the victim's the son, so yeah, the father's the oldest family member, the youngest family member's not the killer. That fits in my head. So I think it was the mum that was the murderer. I don't know exactly how I'm going to input this. Something to do with these, potentially. What we got? Yeah, what's this? This is the father. Is he the killer? No, I don't think so. Okay. That'll be the son and the daughter, presumably. You? This is the mother. Is she the killer? I think she is, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Something happened. The box opened! There you go! God, it's so bright I can barely see what's in it. Is that a key? There's a key inside and I can unlock a door with it. Okay, alright. Hopefully that's the door down to the basement. Awesome. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. And that was pretty good. That got my brain working. Still no sign of the slit-mouthed woman. I'd like to keep it that way. But if it is kept that way, it, it will likely be a fairly boring video, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm caught between a rock and a hard place here. Right. Yep, okay. Looks like we're going down to the basement. Now, where is my colleague? Where's Seiji? Why wasn't he responding? Okay. Oh, I hear him. Oh, well, I don't hear him, but I do read him. He must be somewhere nearby. I think he might be through here. Yeah, what happened? The door locked behind him, and he can't get out. Strange things are happening around here. Oh, and the walkie-talkie stopped working as well, right. He's trying to fix it. Well, that makes sense. I'm sorry, I can't stay anymore. I need to go home. I need to get out of here. Oh, I'd be abandoning him, wouldn't I? He's as scared as me. Okay, alright. I'm gonna help my friend. Somehow. Can't seem to get through this door, but maybe there's another way. Um, okay, there's a door over here. Let's have a look. Okay. Got some big, big boxes here. Can we move them out of the way or something? No. Nope. What's this? Upstairs behind the head. Upstairs behind the head. Okay. What does that mean? Is there a head upstairs? Hmm. That's locked as well. Okay. Um. And that just goes down the corridor right back to the beginning, does it? 
Looks like it. No sign of her. The horse's head? I can interact with this. Hmm. Okay. Behind the painting, maybe? Wait, was that? I think... I think that was me? Oh, no, I'm not so sure. She might be around here. Right. Well, there's a bust up here. Which... Ah! Is there... Oh, right! Giving that a twist gives me access to this secret room. Oh, is that an axe? A useful tool. It absolutely is. Yeah, collect it. Absolutely. That's the sort of collectible I like to collect. There's a key, too. And I can unlock a door with it. Is it going to be one of the doors down in the basement? Kind of hope so. Hey. Oh. He can hear me walking around. Yeah. I'm upstairs. I just grabbed the key. That's not me you're hearing. Okay, alright. I really don't want to, but I think I'm going to have to. Let's help my friend. Come on. Get to it. Let's go this way. Oh shit! Space? Oh god. She's taking her mask off. Okay. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she just go inside me there? What just happened? She stabbed me with a pair of scissors, I think. Jeez, alright. She might still be down here. That was weird. Right. Open this up? No? Oh dear. Uh, this one. This was locked as well, wasn't it? Right, okay. Maybe let's close this up. There we go. <laughs> okay, there's something down here. Let's have a look. She's here. This is not a dream. I hear the whispers, the footsteps. She's coming for me. What will my answer be? Yes? No? I think whichever one you pick, you're probably dead. Nice. Okay, that's another... Is that another syringe full of healthy stuff? In fact, I might be able to use one now. There he is. Okay, that's not me. They're the same kind of footsteps that I heard upstairs. <laughs> knock, knock! She's letting herself in by the sounds of it. Oh boy. This isn't looking good for Seiji, is it? Wow! Okay. Is she like a stand-in for Mr. X? Oh dear. Didn't this guy say that when he's scared, he sings? I haven't heard him sing once. Is he not scared? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, it looks like he left behind a bloody mess. Where did she wander off to? Is she still down here in the basement? Well, I think she... She sort of blew the door off its hinges, so I might be able to go in. Right. Oh boy. Oh yeah, he's... he's done for. I'm sorry. I tried. I did try. Okay, you gonna leave me with something? Ah, you are. Yes. Okay, awesome. Keys. It looks like it can unlock desk drawers different. Well, there was a desk in there, but I think it would... Yeah, I think all the drawers are out of it. Somewhere upstairs, maybe? Oh, the office! Yeah, the office! Hey! Another collectible! Two more to find. Right. Which way? Left? Forward? Let's go forward. Right. Yeah, she just... She just disappeared. She's probably up here wandering around now. So yeah, I think I need to go back to the office. It seems safe enough. At least for now. She's not in here? No? I 
keep expecting her to be more of a threat than she actually is in this game. Right. Here we are. Okay. Oh, there's a key. Oh, I unlocked two at the same time. Amazing. Uh, okay, I can unlock a door with it. Amazing. Uh, there's also a note. All the doors are locked. My last chance is the roof. I need to get to the roof and use the fire escape if I want to get out of here. Okay. There's something else over there, too. I found it. There's a way to stay alive. If my theory's true, attacking her with the blood of her victim should send her back to hell. But it's impossible. Where could I find the blood of her victim? I've no time. I'm doomed. Well, I might be able to find that. Seiji, <laughs> do you mind if I borrow some of your blood? Is there anything else in there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, we might be going back to the basement then. But right, that key? Hmm, okay, that might unlock the gate. I don't know. Or if not... There was a door up there, I believe. But let's go back to the basement, because I want to have a look at Seiji's body again. I think he died so that I could live, potentially. But how am I going to... Hmm, I don't know how I'm going to collect the blood. Oh dear. Okay, she might be around here. Oh shit. Yep, she definitely is. Okay. Alright. She's definitely a threat now. She to the right. Oh shit. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Oh my. Oh my. If there was a door here. I'd slam it. Right. Interact! Okay. She's right behind me, but apparently I can select an item here. The flashlight? <laughs> the syringe? Maybe I can collect it? No. The axe. Yes. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Actually, can I use one of those syringes? Yes. Okay, it helps a little bit. God, okay, she's behind me still. Right, so this is now a bloody axe. It's it's covered in blood. Can I use that? Can I equip that? It doesn't seem like it. I can examine it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's going to be a prompt where I can use it, but I, I didn't see it back there. Let's just get out of the basement. At least I got the blood, right? I was hoping that syringe was going to do a little bit more as well. It only did, I think, like 25% of my health. We might be going up there? Or we might be going over there? I'm not really sure. There's something down here too, actually. Kuchisaka Honor, your story touched me. Just like the Greek Medusa, you are misunderstood. My stories, my books, are nothing compared to your story. Hmm. Don't know about that, to be honest. Is it this one? It is this one! Okay. Close the door. <laughs> so what do we got here? Okay, hang on. Interesting. Oh, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, though. Okay, hang on. There is something down here. The goblins really like the painting. This painting? Oh, right. They're different colours. Oh, I see. So it's red at the bottom, then green, then blue. And then there's that black one. I suppose that's going to be the sort of smoke at the very top. I see. Okay. So... There you go. Easy. Oh, shit. What did that do? What the fuck did that do? Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh, I'm running out of stamina quick. Oh, crap. Who the hell's this? Where'd she go? Wait, where did the corridor go? Okay, I don't know where I am right now. I think I'm in my own little sort of pocket dimension. Let me just leave. Am I trying it? I don't think I can get it open. Okay, there's another door back there. All right, well, this, is getting, uh, this is getting interesting now. I can't go through that one either. Wait, what's that? Bolt cutters, by the looks of it. 
Yeah, I got bow cutters. Wait, what's this? Oh, we're back to that room. Right. What on earth? Can I help you, buddy? I I don't I don't know if I can actually. Right. I think I'm just looking out for myself now. Let's just get the hell out of here, shall we? I've got the bolt cutters. If I can't unlock the gate with the key, then I should be able to get through the chain with the bolt cutters, you'd think, right? And if that doesn't work, well, <laughs> maybe I'll just hop over the gate like I probably should have done earlier. Yeah, that works. <laughs> it's a bit weird that it snaps silently, but right. Go to the roof, are you sure? Uh, yeah, I think so. Alright. So this is the roof of the building. Oh boy, alright. Oh, that's not her. That's a statue, I think. You know who this kind of reminds me of? What are you buying? <laughs> From Resident Evil 4. Uh, let's scare all the birds. What have we got here, then? Can we get through there? Over here? It's a statue of a hand. Is the statue missing its hand or something, maybe? I don't think so. Can't reach through and grab it, though. Might be able to get to the other side somehow, though. Over here? Oh, another syringe full of good stuff. It seems to be a note and another one. I think I did see an opening back where I uh, back where I came up. Might need to go around this fence here. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Uh, I can't crouch in this game, but yeah, looks like I can squeeze through that. Should I? Yes. Give it a go. Okay. A dead end. Oh boy, this is going to turn into a maze, isn't it? Uh, but not a very good one. <laughs> okay. According to popular legend, after her death, the woman returned as a vengeful spirit. She asks potential victims if they think she's beautiful. If they respond with no, she'll kill them with her long scissors. If they say yes, she'll reveal that the corners of her mouth are slit from ear to ear, and she'll then repeat her question. If the individual responds with no, she'll kill them with her weapon. And if they say yes, she'll cut the corners of their mouth in such a way that resembles her own disfigurement. So there's really no way to win. Okay, so what's this? Oh, we don't pick it up, we twist it. Ah, I might be able to sneak under there. Or do I have to get to the other side to really lift it up? I probably do, right? Let's pick up that other syringe. Okay. So what else we got around here? Anything back here? Just a dead end. Doesn't seem like she's around, but I know she's going to turn up. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> that actually did make me jump. Oh, he's scared. He's finally singing. <laughs> oh, shit. Come back any time. Ah, right. Yeah, that, that changed a bit, didn't it? And that wasn't open before either. Right, let's go let's go this way and let's hope we can get to that other table, because I think we need to properly lift up that gate. Around here? Oh, I know I'm gonna bump into her again. It's been a little disappointing in some areas this game, but overall I quite like it. Oh. oh dear, oh god. I don't know where that's coming from. Ahead of me or behind me? She's definitely wandering around though. Okay. I think she's down there somewhere. Can I go underneath that? Oh, I think... Oh, I see her. I see her wandering around. I don't think she sees me though. Oh dear. Okay, right. Uh, I might sneak under here, I don't know. Okay, quick. 
<laughs> We've got another statue here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, right. Going under here. Oh god. <laughs> I think she knows when I go under here. Right, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run for it. Hopefully she leaves me alone. She did before when I outran her in the basement. Oh shit, she's just on the other side of this bamboo fence, I think. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna have to go back round there, right? That's gonna lead me to the table. Okay. Where is she? There she is. She's going back that way. Right. What's this? Another collectible? Let's have a look. Um, it's it's another one of these chests with a padlock on it. Maybe there's going to be some sort of code I need or a key or... Uh, well, maybe I could use this. Yeah. No? That? Walkie-talkie? Okay. Uh, I think I need something else. I think maybe I do need a key, actually. Okay. Does she have the key? <laughs> right. I'm going to wait here. When I hear her over here, I'm going to go through. Okay. I'm going under. Oh boy. Look, there's another collectible. Quick. Grab it. Got it. Okay. Round here. What's that? Okay, it's a small key. It can be used to unlock desk drawers. Are there desk drawers up here? I know there's a chest, but okay, that's locked. Oh shit, alright. She's over there, right. I'm gonna head back, if possible. I'm glad there's shortcuts here, to be honest. She's wandering back there. Is it for this chest? Is it for this little box down here? It seems to be. I can't really tell what's inside. Oh, it's a key! It's a proper key. It's a door key. Okay, amazing. Hopefully it's going to be for that door that gets me to the table. Ooh. Ooh. Probably should have used the shortcut, honestly. Oh, it's bloody working, though. Oh, man. Okay. Right, through here. Yes! Okay. Close that up. No? Okay, there we go. Right. So there's no syringe this time, it's just that. I give it a twist. That fully opens. I just need to get up there then, I think. Where is she? Where is she gone? Oh shit, I don't like this. I'm going to go under here. Uh, I think she might intercept me on my way back. I don't know where from, though. Which corner? Which one's it going to be? Alright. So far, so good. And I'm not singing anymore, so... You know, I've, I've got some steely nerves right now. Okay. Is that the fire exit then? That's the fire escape? Right. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh boy. It, am I pretty? Uh, okay. It's yes, no, or I can use an item. Let's use the axe. Use the axe. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Did I just send her back to hell? I think I did. Thanks, Seiji. <laughs> so that was it? Oh, okay. After many failed attempts to communicate with the security personnel, police were sent to investigate what happened at the Kazuki Mansion. They found Bando Seiji, one of the two security guards working at the mansion that night, dead. He was stabbed more than four times and had multiple broken bones. They also found Toda Akio, unconscious with a bloody axe next to him. He was taken in for questioning, and he claimed that the demon Kushisaki Honor attacked them. 
The police obviously didn't buy his story, and he was treated as the main suspect. Luckily for him, the autopsy showed that the wounds on Bando Seiji's body couldn't come from an axe, therefore he was released due to insufficient evidence. Just for a moment, I thought that was going to be a bad ending where we'd have to spend some time in prison, but no, it looks like I did manage to escape, and I managed to escape without dying, I didn't get disfigured, and I avoided prison as well, so that's got to be the best of the three endings. But that is that. That was Slipmouthed, everyone. That was the entire game. And that's a bit of a shame. That's a little bit of a disappointment, to be honest. I was expecting a little bit more with this. I was expecting her to be more of a threat, more scary. Uh, we had a couple of decent set pieces and a, a couple of little spooks here and there, I suppose. Some decent puzzles. But yeah, the game was lacking. And <sighs> the main character is meant to sing when he's scared, right? And he only sang the once. And I think that says it all, really. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing, a very average game, in my opinion, but nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Apparently, the messy house of a nut job is considered art these days. It looks like I'm heading in, and I don't have a say in this. <laughs> I guess I can't turn around and go home. Hmm, that looks a little bit suspicious to me. All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, is it? Oh well, I guess we won't be going up to the roof. What's through here, though? Alright. Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Maybe I should have said no. Right, well this is a window that I didn't check. I actually want to check that it's unlocked so I can escape. Is this J-pop? Well, I need to find myself a key, I suppose. Or, oh boy. A useful tool. It absolutely is. Yeah, collect it. Absolutely. That's the sort of collectible I like to collect. Oh shit! Space! Oh god. <laughs> knock knock. She's letting herself in by the sounds of it. Didn't this guy say that when he's scared he sings? I haven't heard him sing once. She might be around here. Oh shit. Yep, she definitely is. Oh, wait. Oh shit. Oh, there you go. He's scared. He's finally singing. Where is she gone? Oh shit, I don't like this. 